Holy shit, wait. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I am starting. <laughs> Welcome, readers. Hello. Okay, hold on. Hi, Nigel. How was your stream? Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, readers. Um, let's see if my shout out works. nice <gasps> i'm so happy i'm glad that you had a good stream <laughs> it's okay draco i just freaking out don't worry about it <laughs> i can still hear you <laughs> yeah welcome everyone welcome 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 that was an interesting intro Hello, hello. Let me greet you all, okay? Uh, yeah. Um, mm, 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 mm. Hi, Nigel. Hi, Silver. Hi, Northern Lights Dragon. Hello, hello. Hi, Yahi. Hi, Shuriken. Hello, hello. There was a different clip's audio. It's okay. We got, we got to hear you um, swear in Hungarian. So I, I would say that it was worth it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I am testing the the new router and i would say that it's working pretty well so far hi mega lego row any place to play sport oh now that you mention it i am pretty interested in sport i've seen gameplays i've seen mods and i will investigate okay because i was actually eyeing with it i've seen videos of it it's a very very interesting and good game I would love to play sport at some point. Sure, why not? If it's not too expensive, I would play sport. Take a sip. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Meow. See you, Hello. I did take a sip. I'm a gonna do the stretch. Oh, you guys know what time it is today. I was waiting for this stream for so long. I was planning it for so long. It's not gonna be anything fancy, but I am very, very excited to lay down my banger opinions on all of you. <laughs> because I know that I have... So, I think tier list, especially with food, is gonna be very interesting, especially because um, a lot of people are super picky with stuff. And I am not a picky eater, so I am... I think I have stuff that I like more than what I hate. It's only twenty dollars, but it goes on sale even lower prices very often. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Thank you. Also, I am changing to the cup cupcat model. Okay, hold on. Dun, 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 dun. Where's the where's where's the where's the thingy? Here. Okay. Just a moment, please. Come on. Yes. Perfect. Hello. We're talking about food. Let's see the food cat. I would say I am more of a beverage in this form. Would you rather marry Hudson Amico or CL Phantom Hive? Oh, you know. This, this isn't even a question. I would 
in a heartbeat marry Miss, Miss Hatsune Miku, queen of the entire universe? <laughs> what kind of question is this? See, a Phantom Hive looks more of like a child to me. I don't know anything about him, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I am very excited to lay down my banger opinions because obviously my I, I am right and you are all wrong because this is my stream. Mofomelo, hi T, hello. I would say that Oh at the end Nigel is right because I'm kind of kind of a food and kind of a beverage in this form. Hehe. Hehe. Hoo As Ark would say, hee hee hoo hoo. Would you rather babysit a baby Kirby or a Togepi? Uh no. I would probably babysit both of them. But also I think Kirby would babysit me because I would trust my life with Kirby. <laughs> Joy alert, Nigel. Is a soup a food or a beverage? It is a food. I would consider soup a food. Anything that is that consists of more than one ingredient, I would say that it is a food. Hello, Shirai Hatoshi. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Hi Jash, hello. We were looking at puzzles today and I've seen so many so many puzzles with alpha fuzz and I, I kept thinking about Jash today. Would you rather cosplay as Sleep Leia or as Bias Grim Grammary? I, I don't know the other person, I am so sorry. I, I am not a cosplayer by any means. So what's a smoothie then? A smoothie is a drink. But also, it's my breakfast. Also, also, side note, we have new emotes. We also have new animated emotes. So please go wild and use them to your to your liking. I hope you guys will enjoy my new emotes. I just wanted to like upgrade them a little bit so the the people who are subbed have like more means to use them. Yeah. Please um, follow Jashin because she made my new emotes. Where is she? Where is she? <clears throat> she doesn't have any clips. Blasphemy. Would you rather play Omori or Danganronpa? Danganronpa. I I'm not a big fan of Omori. I'm a friend just lurking. I'm in a car traveling home from Budapest. <gasps> Have a safe trip and thank you very much for lurking. <laughs> yeah, okay. Without any further ado, I'm gonna move on to the tier list. But first, I'm gonna I'm change back because this form doesn't work well with the gaming chair. I have a very, very. I have a lot of very strong opinions about stuff. Ah. To align myself a little bit better, I guess. How are you? How are you people doing today? Oh, well, hold on, hold on. What's this? Which one is this? This one. We are starting with this one. Just fruit. Okay, perfect. You guys can see it, right? Let's go with the very, very um, basic ones. Fruits. I triple wish. Oh, birds. Yup, 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 birds. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have a Hungarian food tier list too. Don't worry. Also, I don't know why I keep blinking. Let me fix my rigging a little bit. Sounds like a country. It is a society, a kind of society in here. But yeah, fruits. I'm just adjusting a few stuff on my desk. Okay, so fruits, green apple. Apples are in general good, but they are not my fave. Although I like green apples a lot. Red apples are okay. Society. A kind of society, yes. 
I do like apple juice and apple cider though. So there's that. Uh, apples. I do like apple juice as well, but I would prefer apples in like pastries and stuff. Apricot. Um, I really eat apricot by itself as a fresh food because I don't really have the opportunity to eat apricot a lot but I would say that it's it's like C it's okay avocado is I don't know I am not obsessed with it I would say B because it's it's actually good I do like it eating it like with so I actually learned how to prepare the the desert that people eat in the Philippines like Filipino people eat like the, the one with like avocado sweetened uh, fondants milk and ice and stuff I actually quite like that banana bananas are okay and like I do love me some banana smoothie or banana um, shake but just by itself I am not obsessed with it it's not bad I do love banana flavored stuff though. Blackberries are okay. I don't really have any any opinion about blackberries. Blackcurrants are D. I'm not really obsessed with them. I I don't really like how um they are they are kind of bitter sometimes. <gasps> blueberries are A tier, definitely. I rarely have blueberries. Actually, it might be S tier because I rarely have them, but I am obsessed with them. I love everything blueberry flavored. So, so good, so good. But they are so expensive and hungry. Cantaloupe. A. Really, really good. I love it. Um, for, like a, So we do the thing where uh, I kind of like slice them up and then we freeze them. I like them. Especially as like a cantaloupe smoothie or something. Very, very good. I like it. Uh, coconut. Coconut is A tier. I love everything coconut flavored. I am obsessed with coconut scented stuff, flavored stuff. Really, really good. Nice, nice, nice. I, I have a special thing with like cherries because... So in like every other Hungarian household, we have a garden. We also have cherry trees and... We have this thing where the cherries always end up having like so many worms in them and I freaking hate it. I am freaking out because of the worms all freaking time. So we kind of only... No, I, I don't know. I don't really remember when I had cherry the last time. <laughs> I do like cherry flavored stuff though. That's the thing. Uh, cranberries. I... I I, I am okay with them. Dried cranberries are okay in, in like foods. Dates are okay. I don't really have any strong opinion about these either. Uh, dragon fruit. I never had dragon fruit. Uh, I know the taste, but I don't think. I think it's more artificial than actually eating the one in like raw. I actually saw durian yesterday, holy heck. I actually had a durian yesterday in my hand and... So yeah, it wasn't open because it, I only saw it in the store and it wasn't open, but I actually, I mean, I tried to hold it in my hand, but it was so spiky, it actually hurt my hand a little bit. Cherry is S plus for me. I do understand that my problem is very specific and probably weird because people always tell me that Oh, you need to man up and actually just eat it even if they have worms in it. But I'm like, no, I hate the worms. I don't want to eat worms. So yeah, but like pastries with cherries in them, I do love them. And the taste, I actually like like it a lot. The, the taste of cherries, I mean. But it's just that I have PTSD about the worms <laughs> all the time. But yeah, I actually had durian in my in my site yesterday, but I couldn't afford it because it was like super duper expensive. Holy shit! I think it was around like 100 bucks in Hungarian foreign, because it's so expensive to import it. Welcome back, welcome back. 
Blueberries are so good. Rating vitamins. Um, I, I don't even think I have to rate them because you, if you don't have like D and A vitamins, you will literally just die. But yeah, figs. We actually have figs in the garden. I really, really like figs. Figs are good. Dried, uh, like raw, just picked from the tree. They are really, really good. They are very versatile because we actually make a uh, marmalade out of them too. Blue raspberry, but it's only blueberry. <laughs> oh my god, silly. Do people actually know what gooseberry is? Gooseberry is really, really good. I was obsessed with gooseberry as a kid. A magyaroknak mondom, hogy az egres fúzelék nagyon nagyon finom, egres szósz nagyon finom. I love gooseberry. If I would have to define what gooseberry is for people who do not do not know it, it's kind of like grapes, but they are a little bit more hard. Hi root beer. S plus three, you can't say anything. I'm not going to. I won't even question that. We actually know that that's ginger beer, but root beer is really good. Vitamin gummy looking nice. They always make vitamin gummies very, very tasty. So you'll crave them. <laughs> Green apple should be SS tier. Why don't you make, you make the tier list yourself, Nigel? It would be a great stream, I think. Okay, let, let's continue because I, I actually have a lot of tier lists that I want to do today. Grapefruit. Grapefruits are okay. I like them as juice. Grapefruit juice is really, really good. Red grapes are C tier. I'm not obsessed with them. Uh, if there's like a different kind of grape for the ones that we make wine out of, I like that one. White grapes are very good. I was actually considering buying white grapes today. I don't know why I like white grapes a little bit more. <clears throat> Avocados are hard to rank because they're like apples in a very different type of avocado taste while they're different. They are hard to hard to rank indeed. Kiwi, um, not a big fan. I don't hate it though. I don't hate anything here. Let let's be clear. On this tier list, I don't hate anything. I eat every everything here. It's just that this this rank, like under D, I never had them. Lemons, um, I, I don't know. I don't really like anything that's artificial lemon flavored. So like the candy, lemon flavored candy. I am not a big fan. If I have to eat it, I don't politeness, I will probably. Limes, same. To me, lemon and limes are same. Honestly, they, they, they are good if they go into drinks. And like anything, uh, for example, like mousse, de desserts, they are good. Lychee. Lychee is, is probably one of my favorite, all-time favorite fruit. Lychee and blueberry and mango. Like these. Oh, best ever. Best ever. If you want to bribe me, buy me these. Nectarines are very, very good. I love them. Oranges. I don't know. I, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of anything citrus. I never had papaya because it's actually super rare in Hungary. I can find papaya sometimes, but they are very rare. Same goes for passion fruit, I think. Peaches are A tier. Very, very good. I love them. <clears throat> I usually just go and, and have fruits for, I don't know, dinner sometimes because they are so good. Or I love making fruit salads too. How can you put cherries in the deal is because they have worms in them because they have worms in them i hate the worms my mom always makes like cherry soup and, th and then the worms are just floating on top i have ptsd <laughs> i don't want to eat worms leave me alone <laughs> never had passion fruit passion fruit is considered very exotic in hungary i'm sorry i cannot afford it sometimes i see them in little or or any other like uh exotic shops but they are very expensive in hungary 
like obviously I had passion fruit and like I know dragon fruit flavor stuff but that's not the same as having it like raw like the natural one you can spray in insecticide onto cherries to avoid burns that's what my parents do and they actually I think at this point my parents are, are like nature hazard because they keep spraying pesticide all over our garden I have PTSD I don't want to talk about this <laughs> Hold on, mango. Uh, mango flavor, a Hungarian type of mango, a real mango. I am talking about real mango. Life before and after passion fruit is night and day. I am so sorry. I will try passion fruit one day just for you, T. Uh, but yeah, I am talking. I don't know what the Hungarian mango is, but I had real mango. It's really, really good. But I also like the mango flavoring because I, I just like mango a lot. Secret to it is put, put on the fly trap when the first flowers start to go. We do that! We do that! Those annoying like yellow fly traps, they are so annoying because I keep like running into them in the garden because I do I go outside to play with the cats, right? And then we like run around the trees and my hair always gets trapped in it. It's so annoying! <laughs> okay, let me continue. Fears are, are okay. Sometimes I crave them, sometimes I don't. I have a very specific problem with persimmons. Persimmons are giving me like the worst stomach ache ever, but I love the taste. That's the problem with persimmons. I don't know why. I don't know what's the biology behind that or, or the scientific explanation why it's like that, but I cannot eat persimmons because they give me the worst stomach ache ever. Hungarian mango is bitter and barely sweet, but real mango is sweet all around. Yeah, a real mango. I, I can choose mangoes quite well. I cannot choose melons. Like I don't have the special ability like the old babushka have. Just hitting, uh, hitting the melons and like knowing if it, if it's ripe or overly ripe. I don't have that, but I can choose good mangoes. That's the thing. Pineapple. Pineapples are eight tier. Very very good. All around. I can go wrong with a good pineapple. Plums are okay. I like them as jam. Pomegranate. Very very good very healthy very yummy a little bit difficult to eat though pomelos are good i like them sometimes they are on sale in winter time uh raspberry raspberries are okay i if i have to choose i would prefer strawberries red currants are not that yummy they are they are too sour for me Okay, now I had the uh, now I had the modification that I am live again. Okay, I should be good. Welcome back. Strawberry doesn't get into S tier. I will riot. <laughs> what is this? This is the friendship test. Come on, don't have pressure on me. Star fruit. I never had star fruits. Strawberries A tier. I'm sorry, Nigel. This might be a friendship breaker for us. I do love strawberries, but it's. I run into bad strawberries more often than I run into like um, bad mangoes. Tangerines are very very good. I like them, but not not like obsessed with them. <gasps> Watermelons S tier incredible best in summer hi grimmers hello hello i will buy you now you can be zombie plush cat not if i buy your ankle and like run away with your ankles hello then how are mangoes s tier do not ask about my favorites honeydew is very very yummy i love all kind of melons Asian pear. I once had this. I like how it's not overly sweet. I think these are the yuzu pears. Very, very good. 
guava never had guava and I don't really like how it tastes either raw orange I don't think I wait I, I had this yes I had this it's it's good I would say custard apple never had this never even saw this never heard of it before ground cherry I actually had ground cherries they are okay but I think they are too small and very very expensive go to Japan you will taste all different strawberries if you go to the farms they have kumquat uh, I had like the flavoring of this one I am not obsessed with it mulberries uh, oh I know what mulberry is very very good now I now I remember okay raisins oh gosh um, this is the first time I actually feel pressured with what I choose um <laughs> bomb grenades should be S there please just accept how it's up there it is up there I sometimes crave that crave them in winter time hi for the por por porridge porridge okay porridge thank you thank you for the follow hello <clears throat> grapes are good raisins are dog shit um I am very sorry I love raisins I love them I eat them by themselves because I we had like a period in my life in my childhood when we had we didn't really have anything other than raisins as like sweets and I just raided the cupboard and just ate the raisins by itself because we we didn't have chocolate <laughs> so the reason is that I was a fat kid I was always a fat kid and my mom tried to like limit my sugar and, and like dessert intake so she actually like got rid of all the chocolate and sugars and it was raisins that I could only eat when I was fat as a kid so I actually love raisins if you go to Japan you're probably going to get stomach cancer and from all the additives I don't know because most of the stuff that they eat is like fresh. <laughs> okay, jackfruit. I don't know what this is, but I would try. Mangosteen, no, I didn't have them. Rambutan, I didn't have them. Sour cherry, ah, oh, as a mad because. Oh, you don't know the cherries. Uh, same with cherries because they are full of worms but I do love the taste though if I would have to choose between cherries and, and sour cherry I would probably choose sour cherry okay white currant I don't think I actually had white currants before okay this is the fruit tier list I don't I don't take any criticism for my opinion you are free to not agree, or free to disagree. I can speak English, I promise. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna take a sip of my coke. <sighs> Add the tier list to what's good as what is good as bang. <laughs> FDA don't approve, which is a low bar if you know America. America. I actually saw Americans shopping today. It was so funny. I'm always so funny when I see people coming so far, so far to Hungary. Like, why would you come here? <laughs> All right, we move on to the next one. Okay, which one's the next? Oh, veggie, vegetables. Are you excited for this one? I am excited as heck. Are you guys picky eaters, by the way? Because I'm not. Hi, Dreamy Eyes. Hello. Thank you so much for the follow. Stretch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, double stretch. I'm not very picky. I stuff stuff in my mouth. <laughs> I'm, I'm the same. Okay. 
vegetables are better than fruits fight me uh i think i agree with you <laughs> how do you show i hold on uh i think we need an extra one uh add the row okay oh this is this is gonna be the never had it wonderful okay Heavy of Africa, ne? Okay, artichoke. Never had it. Because I never actually had artichoke, I think. I might actually had it. Uh, perhaps in a restaurant if it was included in my dish, but... I don't know. What's arugula? Holy heck. Let me just Google this one. Oh, some kind of salad. I think it's... No, it's not rucola. It's a kind of salad. Never had it. Never had it. Or I'm like, um... I don't know, mixing it up with something. Asparagus. Good. I like it. I like it boiled. I like it as a cream soup. Very, very versatile food. I like it with bacon. Very, very good. Artichoke is pretty good. It's not common in Hungary, sadly. <laughs> Avocados. <laughs> good, good. I like them. Beet. Beet soup is very, very good. Uh, I like beets boiled and used in salads. Hi, Grace. Hello, hello. <clears throat> pickled beets. I like pickled stuff too. Oh, <gasps> yes. Oh my god, yes, I love pickled stuff. I forgot to mention this, but most of the vegetables I like to consume are pic pickled stuff. Pickled stuff is so good. Bell peppers. Bell peppers are okay. Uh, the one thing that I don't like about bell peppers is when restaurants or like people who put like bell peppers into, I don't know, food where it doesn't belong to, for example, like pasta, like pasta meat some kind of sauce and then like a shit ton of bell peppers like why why would you do that it's okay i think beets beets kapia is a bell pepper kapia kapia is good <laughs> silly okay let's move on <gasps> broccoli s tier as i was saying broccoli is like top tier best vegetable ever i love it boiled and and then, then i eat it with like um, soy sauce very very good ew brussels sprouts my my nemesis I'm just gonna have a have its own tier because I don't think I can imagine anything that is just as disgusting as Brussels sprouts. Perkot with shitano bell pepper is great. Ew, that sounds so bad. Why would you do that with the steel? No. <laughs> but yeah, fuck Brussels sprouts in particular. I hate them. I I so I had a subathon. I don't know if you guys were here back then, but I had a subathon and one of the tiers was uh, me eating Brussels sprouts. And I was actually looking for recipes to how to prepare them so I can actually like try it and not just throw it up immediately because I have this like... I have a very intense like negative response to Brussels sprouts. So I actually like prepared it, fried them in like a pan, added spices. I, I, at the end, luckily, I didn't reach that tier, but I was close and I was sweating. <laughs> but if you guys want to like make me throw up on stream like Hachama, I would probably have to eat Brussels sprouts for that. <laughs> Orange at bed would say about as good as asparagus. No, 
shit brussels sprouts are so disgusting they are disgusting when you're boiling them they are disgusting boiled they are disgusting as like i don't know some kind of sauce or or like porridge or whatever we have like pottage in hungary <laughs> Are you hungry? No, because I'm talking about Brussels sprouts that are like 100% disgusting. Okay, let's just move on. Butternut squash. Insanely good. Insanely good. The shit of autumn. I love it. I usually prepare them like I uh, chop them up into like big pieces and then uh, put them in the oven. And I eat it with like meats and stuff. It's very, very good. I love it when it's like squash season. Oh my god, I am going to stop the stream if you guys are going to do the hungry, hungry joke. <laughs> I wanna learn Magyar. Good. I don't want to know Magyar. <laughs> silly. Silly, silly. Cabbage. I like cabbage. Okay, this is gonna sound weird, but I do prefer cabbage fresh and raw instead of like boiled or anything. It's really good as like a soup, cabbage soup, or as like a pottage, but I do like it raw. I do munch on cabbage sometimes because I am weird like that. The worst thing is that even my mod is like jumping in on the shit fest on chat. I hate you guys. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, carrots. I'm not a big fan of carrots. I am sorry. I am sorry. If if I would want to be polite, I would probably eat carrots, but I, I don't like them. I sometimes have the mood to like... When I'm like making something which requires me to chop carrots, I probably just munch on like a few strips fresh, but that's it. So mod didn't jump on it, would, would they really be a mod? True! Cauliflower A tier, very very good. I love it as a soup, I love it fried, I love it boiled. I love the stuff that they make out of cauliflower. Very very good. <clears throat> Celery is... Um, I think I prefer celery as like some kind of like flavoring not by itself i don't hate it though corn s tier wonderful i cannot wait for it to be corn season <laughs> i'm contractually obligated to bully as both moderns part of the mafia family yes you are my stinky vtuber son it's already corn season here I, I think I actually have corn in the fridge as we speak because I actually bought some boiled corn back from home very very good cucumber okay I am not a big fan but it's okay at the moment S tier incredible I was actually so sad that I didn't eat at the moment yesterday I don't know why I keep blinking it's so weird Stop doing it. Stop blinking. Okay. Perhaps I will stop blinking now. Alright. Eggplant? Eggplants are very good. I don't have anything else to say. They are very, very hard to prepare because if you don't prepare them well, they will get bitter. <laughs> I'm not stinky. You are stinky. Garlic, S tier, very good. I sometimes eat garlic by itself. It's very healthy. You might not smell good, but you know what they say. Even in Vampire Survivors, garlic is very powerful. <laughs> ginger, I don't know why ginger is here. Does anyone even eat ginger by itself? It's a spice, I love it though love garlic just people don't like me when i eat garlic who loves you will love you even if you smell like garlic Nigel. garlic is pricey this year <gasps> is it ginger ale 
You probably eat it as like a uh, spice too. Jalapenos. I don't often have them, but they are very good if I do. Kale. Uh, I don't. Did I did I ever have kale? Hold on, I need to check if it's the same in Hungary. I don't think I ever had kale. Yeah, it's not common in Hungary, I think. I, I never had kale. Okay. Leeks, S tier. So I have a very, very sad story. I love all kind of onions. I love all of them. But the tragic story is that I am unable to eat them fresh anymore. Or even food that is like very, very spicy, like very garlicky or very, very... Um, so it ha if it has like fried or boiled onion in it because it gives me like the first stomach ache for some reason I don't know I'm so weak I'm not gonna survive the winter as it seems <laughs> we only need kusmeta on the list <laughs> kusmeta isn't, isn't it a fruit isn't it a fruit isn't it like a gooseberry hold on I need to check kusmeta the gooseberry you silly i actually rated the a i think because they are very very good <clears throat> i had it on the fruit list lettuce lettuce good lettuce very good lettuce very very versatile you can use them in all kind of ways <gasps> i love mushrooms so much like I straight up just eat mushrooms raw sometimes. When I'm chopping them, I will just pop a few into my mouth. <laughs> I love mushrooms so much. I love all of the stuff that you that people usually hate. Which is good because they won't be leftovers if you're having a meal with me. Because I'm gonna eat everyone's leftovers. <laughs> hello, Perko. Hello, hello. Not even when I am drunk. Why would you eat mushroom when you're drunk? Unless you're having it on like pizza or something. It's okay, I will eat all of your leftovers. I'm the kind of person who, who eats everyone's leftovers that they don't want to eat. Raisins, mushrooms, whatever you guys don't like. Why do people hate mushrooms, I wonder? They don't even have like a very specific... They don't have a strong taste. Is it because of the texture, I wonder? Vegetables make me want a woman. I almost said that you sound like a child, but then I remembered that you're almost still a child. So you are excused. I usually whatever left over from dinner. Good. As you should. We don't waste food. We don't waste food. Epic sense. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Okra. I think I only had okra like twice. But it was very yummy. It was very interesting. I only had okra in Japan. I think it's starting to get more common in Hungary too. Because we actually... My mom said that we actually have okra farms now here. But it's not common. <laughs> I am so sorry I destroyed you like this on stream. <laughs> yeah, you missed the fruits. If you watch back the wad, you will see. I'm not gonna spoil what fruits I like most. <laughs> Maybe the other as well, though. Okay, peas. Peas are okay. I'm not a big fan. They are okay. Potatoes. Potatoes are very good. I love them because they can be prepared. And these they are so easy to prepare. <laughs> okay, pumpkin. Uh, pumpkins are very, very good. I love pumpkin. Radish, I also love them. Radish is really good with like sandwiches and stuff. Fresh radish, nothing beats it. Very, very good. Happy than ice cream flavors. It's, oh, it's, it's, oh, it's coming, it's coming. I did prepare a tier list for ice cream flavors, don't worry. But it's kind of like American flavors. So it's, we have to use our imagination. Or I will just simply talk about my favorites. Red onion, very, very good, but I cannot eat it fresh anymore. Scallions, insane. Insane. I love all of these so much. 
spinach okay uh, I do love spinach um, spenolt főzelék finom 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 sweet potatoes good not that obsessed with them they are a bit, a bit too sweet for me tomatoes s dear wonderful lovely I love them I eat them raw I just go into the garden and just eat them like some kind of animal <laughs> My mom loves spenot fizzily. Spinach pottage is very good. I don't know. I, th I think the closest that I can explain fizzily as it's a very Hungarian thing. Like imagine like a porridge kind of stuff. You see, for Edamam it was not good. Art started to try out, but but a lot of it. <gasps> I love Edamam so much. Love, 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 love. I love it so much. Okay. Turnips, turnips are okay And zucchini, very very good I love fried, I love them filled Whatever, zucchini, very very good I love it <laughs> I only have one in the EU <laughs> So here's my vegetable tier list It might not be very popular for you guys But it's a very popular opinion for me but it's okay. As I said, I'm gonna eat all of your leftovers. I'm not a picky eater at all. Sunflower, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Hello. What do you think about my vegetable tier list? It's interesting because I don't really have a lot that I never tried before. I mean, we do have artichoke here. And I think we actually have kale too. But... Somehow I never thought about preparing them. I love it. <gasps> good, good, good. Hello, Raisin. You're still listing vegetables right now. Hell yeah, I do. And you missed the fruit ones. But you only missed one tier. One tier list. You missed one. <laughs> okay, what do we have next? Desserts. Oh my god, desserts. Are you guys ready for this one? Okay, let me just take a sip. <laughs> cake of Hungary. What's the cake of Hungary this year, I wonder? Or is it gonna be decided on like August 20th? 2016 is the best one. <gasps> Hold on. Is that the... Uh, a tök magvas málnás? Zöld féle. Azt hiszem az a 16-os. Én nekem az maradt meg nagyon az agyamban. Egyszerűen fantasztikus fagyikat csinálnak belőle. Őrség zöldben. Igen, 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 igen. So, we always have like a cake of the... Cake of the country. Like, we always decide one specific cake taste for the entire year. On like the... The national holiday on August 20th for Hungary and the most famous one is the 2016 one because it's something it, it so it has like um, crown up like uh, pumpkin seeds yes pumpkin seeds and raspberry jam I think I always eat it when I can. Yes, oh my god. I think that is the only one that actually like stayed around for so long. But yeah, I also go for ice cream if I have that. Macarons, macarons S tier, love them. If I go to any fancy like pastry shop or like sugar shop or, or cake store, I always go for macarons, lovely. I love macarons. I don't know what's about the, the texture. <laughs> Thank you very much for the rain. Julian is that you are so crazy that one like you. I think I am Julian. Thank you. I think I've only been there like 15 years ago or something. Our macarons are I tried so far were dry as heck. The ones in like so there's like a place called Sugar Shop in Budapest. There are two restaurants and they are like a little bit on the high end and prices but all of their stuff is like very very good. 
I think this is the usual birthday cake. Or what kind of cake is this? I don't know. Cake cake goes A tier. Very, very good. Uh, cupcakes. I'm not a big fan of cupcakes, to be honest. Because usually the, the focus is on the dough. And the icing or... I always mix up icing and uh, what's it called? What do you think about sunflowers? Sunflowers are beautiful. The sunflowers are in bloom right now in Hungary, and whenever we pass by the highway, there's always like a big ass sunflower field, and it's so beautiful. I think they are the perfect uh, symbol of summer. <clears throat> what you guys up to, oh my child? Cringe. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. I think these are the cinnamon rolls, cinnamon buns. I never actually tried the, the American version, but I would probably love them. What is this? Can someone help what this is? Okay, I'm just gonna move on. I would say that these are the crepes. Crepes are A tier. Lovely, wonderful. We actually have very, very specific flavors for Hungary, for fillings, for example, um, what's it called? Uh, not sour cream, cottage cheese, yes, for example, cottage cheese with like uh, apricot jam, it's very very Hungarian. Crepes are very very good, Hungarian crepes are very good. Pretzels, I don't know, we usually eat pretzels um, salty. So, so not sweet, but I don't mind if they are somehow like coated in uh, chocolate. Sia Rija Sia, hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, these look like Twinkies. What, what are these? Are these like the the ice cream rolls or something? I, th I think I've heard about these. I don't know. They look tasty. I would probably love these. Also, this has like chocolate. On it so I'm gonna I'm gonna put this here <gasps> and uh, this one's definitely cheesecake cheesecake is S tier I love all kind of cheesecakes brownies A tier incredible brownies are so insanely easy to make I usually make brownies in the microwave they are like so like um, low maintenance and so easy to prepare every college kids like <laughs> preferred um, dessert tiramisu A tier lovely uh, I think I know what it I think this this is the birthday cake and it, it's like so basic I would say that if I would have to choose I would probably choose the other one because it has a lot a little bit more filling in it ice cream S tier forever ice cream I love ice cream. There's just no bad taste. No bad flavor for ice cream. Brownies and college kids not a good combo. <laughs> I I think I know why. <laughs> red velvet cake. I actually got red velvet cake like a like two weeks ago. It was not bad, but I was not in love with it. It was more like cream filling. And it tasted like uh whipped cream I never actually had spores hold on we need to make a no um not this one uh the row below okay never had it never tried okay I never tried s'mores it's not a common thing in Hungary you never I never had s'mores it's not common in Hungary Sorry. I never tried. Thank you. Now, now I don't feel like a freak. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you reassured me. I don't feel like a freak anymore. This, I don't know what this is, but it looks like ice cream, so it goes in S tier. Um, I don't know what this is. I would. Isn't this like the? Oh, what's it called? The, the one that you guys in the US have at like Thanksgiving. 
which I put for luxuries like that. Not very common here. So the thing is that I actually saw like s'mores kits in the stores. But it's just not common to actually sit down and prepare s'mores at the campfire in Hungary. I would probably say that it makes sense that it's more common in the US and other, other places. Donuts. Uh, there are some very, very good donuts, but they, there can be like very boring donuts, but 90% of the donuts is very, very good. The only reason I don't often have donuts is because I don't like fried food too much. And donuts is like, donuts are like very, very oily if they are prepared like the Hungarian way. Uh, this looks like ice cream cakes. I, I, I think this is ice cream cake. It looks a little bit too chocolatey for me. S'mores is much more between too cookie and a slab of chocolate. It's so good. It sounds a little bit too sweet for me. I'm not really a fan of like too sweet stuff, you know. And I did live on a farm for a library. Campfires come, so marshmallows were common too. <gasps> that sounds so lovely. I did this in Hungary. I met him in person. I can I can confirm that he is a living person. <laughs> he might be a zombie though. Okay, these are. I think these are banana splits. They are lovely. Oh my god, another cake which looks the same. These these are just the same. What's the difference between these? Fudges is okay. Pies are, uh, I don't know. They are they are a little bit too boring for me. Churros, I I tried churros once. I have a very bad memory with them. Uh, I wouldn't say that I hate them, but they are everything that I try to avoid when eating. They are very oily and very very sweet. Hungary doesn't exist after all. Yeah, I am just an AI uploaded into the into Twitch too. <laughs> Someone's just to cover my Twitter account or something. <clears throat> Good morning, Bun Bun. Hello. I live in Hungary and I am Hungarian. Yes, you are. Cookies S tier. I love them. Oh, I think this is pumpkin pie S tier. Everything with pumpkin. Lovely. I think these are Halloween sweets. I am not a big fan of them. Like assorted Halloween sweets. Frozen yogurt S tier. Other option is just worse than Hungary. It's okay. Popsicles S tier. What is this? Is that the is that the infamous cookie dough thing? This one? I never tried that. Okay, here's my dessert tier. Feel free to mansplain me about <laughs> my tasting desserts. I'm also just an AI commanding here and doing code verse outside of Twitch. Here, this is the proof that we are only part of the simulation. <laughs> Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are good. Okay, what do you think about my dessert list? I like how the how everyone usually when I look at tier lists, it always goes like in S tier there's like one or two stuff and then it gradually just increases to the bottom. And mine is like the opposite. Like everything is just on top and then it just gradually decreases. <laughs> the last row doesn't count because the last row is the stuff that I didn't eat yet. True jelly bean, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. We all live in the Matrix, yes. Although sir AI. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What's next? What's next? I'm having so much fun. What else do we have here? Okay. Oh drinks! Oh, oh this is gonna be good too. <laughs> I'm a shrimp made out of jelly beans. Please, please don't eat me. That does sound very yummy, though. I, 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 
I need to ask this. Are you aware that I am the cat? Before you follow, are you aware that I am a kitty cat? <laughs> Speedrunning tier list. <laughs> no, we're just we're just discussing. We're just discussing stuff. I do have one, two, three, four still left. And they are all very, very good. Oh guys, come on. You need to love me, even if I, even if our opinions differ. I'm still here. I'm glad you're still here. Alright. Gatorade. Um I hold on, we need a never track tier. No. Push. Never tried. Okay. <clears throat> so. I don't take criticism. I don't take criticism. <laughs> Hearing has electrolytes. Yes. It's actually useful. It's just that. So I used to drink it as a kid because of the taste, not because it was actually useful. And someone forgot to mention that I actually have to like work out if I want to drink Gatorade. I would say that it's C. It's good. I would say that it's the same with Powerade. They are good, but I didn't drink them for their like, uh, I don't know, actual function. All right. Lemon lime sodas. A. Very good. Refreshing in summer. I usually just prefer to like have, I don't know, something not so sweet in summer. <sighs> hell is the best drink. I never had hell. I'm gonna explain why soon. Fruit punch. Um, I don't think I ever tried this one. Water estate. You, you can, I mean, you can add any kind of flavoring or just, it's like a base. You can add anything and everything to water. But it's also very good by itself. Like, you cannot go wrong with water. Except if it's tap water. Because then, I mean, like, you have one valid reason to hate water. <laughs> Isn't she your fruit punch? Uh... Is it just a general term for every everything? Because I am seeing orange juice, apple juice, and stuff here. Orange soda. Okay, if if it's like shio, then I would say that it's it's B. It's okay. Sometimes it's just too sweet, and it makes me like super. Um, it, it gives me a headache. Lemonade A tier. Good. See, this this is the one like uh exception where i like citrus stuff because it's very very refreshing in summer milk s tier i love milk i am guilty of skipping meals because i just drink like a big cup of or or a mug of i don't know milk and then i just skip meals what's chunky milk milk is best milk is very good milk is so versatile too <laughs> I like my milk chunky. <laughs> I'd come with not live if milk didn't exist. Uh, I would say that whoever is like lactose intolerant has like a lot of like good replacements, but I don't think anything is as as good as like actual milk. <laughs> I mean, you're a cat, so milk is obviously S tier. You're right. Energy drinks never tried. I never once had energy drink. I actually like dip my tongue into I, I I think Red Bull once. But I never had any energy drink ever. And I take big pride in this one. <laughs> Although it's weird, like I don't think it's something to be proud of. Because energy drinks are like not bad. But I do have a heart condition and it doesn't allow me to drink energy drinks because it would just make my heart race and increase the 
the chances of me having like problems with my heart so i never had energy drinks before you're missing out i don't know about that i do drink a lot of coffee though but like not the not espresso coffee but like lots and lots of milk cocaine <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know you. You guys love your energy drinks very, very much. But I would say that you guys should have a good sleep instead. Grape juice, F. It always gives me a headache. I don't like it. Would never drink. No. Iced tea? Ah, uh, see. It's okay. If I would have to choose between lemon iced tea... Or green tea iced tea or peach those are the most common flavors in Hungary I would say I like peach iced tea a lot they are okay yeah 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 I know that you're uh, a G fuel and like, energy drink enthusiast but at least you are not rivaled <laughs> everything it helps a bit yeah it actually makes sense yes uh, peach tea is the best yes peach tea good I don't mind lemon either but peach is just mwah. sparkling water um, I would say it's tea I don't like it because here in Hungary be I don't know why but companies always make it too sparkly and it hurts my throat so I don't really enjoy it. I don't know how people enjoy it. It's too sparkly. Whenever I drink, I don't know, import stuff from Asia, for example, sparkly drinks from like, I don't know, Southeast Asia or Vietnam or Japan, it's always less sparkly, less like carbonated. I don't know what's with like Hungarians. The, the, our, the, we just love to destroy our throats. It's just not good. fighter regi soda oh my god um, nem tudom hogy hogy mondjam el angolul de most már nem lehet szódás szifont meg szódás patront kapni mert általag megszüntették <laughs> sparkling water is shit it's not bad if it's not too carbonated like the green green stuff because so the stuff with, without the, the sparkles is usually labeled with pink pink um bottle caps and the sparkly ones are usually blue and the like mildly sparkly ones are green hi serenity so good to see you citrus sodas a tier very very good colas um too obsessed with them sometimes i crave them i am actually drinking uh pepsi right now pepsi coke right this moment but i'm like not too obsessed with them i don't like the too sweet stuff how are you doing i am laying down the big facts the big opinions the big onions today chalky milk yes very good always good to skip a meal with <laughs> Pepsi is a crime. have a strong opinion I love both Coca-Cola and Pepsi Chalky milk, best milk very good root beer, S, S, S I hope root beer is still on the chat root beer, very very good root beer, ginger beer very very good the only maybe better than chocolate milk is energy drink milk oh my god you're a weirdo apple juice s tier love 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 very very good <laughs> orange juice s tier very good i love them all orange soda not that pog because I always the orange soda that I have is always too carbonated. <laughs> J 
Ginger ale is fine, but root beer ale. Whatever you say. Tea is is B. I like tea. There are some teas that I like more. There are teas that I like less. And coffee, obviously, S tier. So here's my drink list. You can't go wrong with coffee. Coffee good. I drink my coffee with lots of like uh, sweetener and lots of milk. So it's not that too hard on my heart. Coffee. I will drink all of the coffee, please and thank you. I like tea too. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. But also, I'm still wondering about fruit punch. Is fruit punch like the general... I don't know, like, isn't it like apple juice or, or something? Or is it like a, like, multivitamin or something? I'm sorry. So here's the thing. The grape flavoring in Japan is so much more delicious than the grape flavoring that we have in Hungary or just in Europe in general. Because I don't know how the Japanese people do it, but anything grape flavored in Japan is very, very good. Like, if I would go up to a vending machine in Tokyo and buy some, I don't know, carbonated grape juice, I would probably love it so much. Even if it's carbonated or even if it's grape. Because, I don't know, I wouldn't drink anything with grape except if it's Japanese. Very, very good. Alright. Oh, I am excited about this. <laughs> Cartoon Network tier list. Oh, you're still going on about the Taurian thing. Oh, come on. What about wine? I love red wine. I love red wine a lot. Milk tea, very, very good. Hello, Miyuki. Hello, hello. Okay. So who's a 90s kid? 90s and like... Who's a millennial? I'm a millennial. Look at all these. Gosh, this is, this is all my childhood. Come on, Nigel. Come on. Shh, shh, shh. Okay. Two stupid dogs. Who saw two stupid dogs? I did. Multiple times. Oh my god. You can actually find some of these on YouTube because I don't think they are licensed. And if you find them, they are like in a resolution that was still made for like the, the old ass TVs. Gumball, oh, I love Gumball. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know what this is. Is this, is this? Yeah, this is the newer Scooby-Doo. I, I, I didn't watch the newer Scooby-Doo. Like, there's like one series where he is like a little puppy or, or I've heard. Yeah, what a nine is back, oh my God. Adventure Time, great. Love it. I've seen all of Adventure Time all episodes. I love it a lot. I think it's remarkable. There were some ups and downs, but I think every long series has them. Uh, I don't think I saw this one. I don't know what this is. <gasps> Gumball, the best. Absolutely. Whoever didn't watch Gumball yet, even if the creatures are weird at first, I recommend to watch Gumball. Gumball is like Peak animation, peak storytelling, peak jokes, peak everything. What do you think about OXO drinks? Uh, so, um, context. OXO is a bubble tea, uh, bubble tea company in Hungary. And the problem with them is that they usually make stuff very, very sweet, overly sweet. If it's if something is overly sweet, it will give me a headache. So I usually just, if, if I buy something for them, I usually go for the milky stuff.
Adventure Time gives me an existential crisis. Adventure Time is a kind of story which you started watching as a kid and then you just grew up with it. I don't know what this is. Atomic Betty. Uh, I didn't like it, but it wasn't that bad. Baby Looney Tunes. Never watched it. I don't like the baby versions of anything. This kind of Batman, I, I, I don't think I watched this one. Batman in general was mediocre to me. I've never seen a single episode of any Benton ever. I am so sorry. So, so sorry. Nor this Batman. Camp Laszlo, great. It was great. I loved it. I'm mean, watching regular show. It's a piece. <gasps> regular show was so good. Oh my god. Captain Planet. It was good. I liked it. Uh, what's this? I I never seen this one. <gasps> Chowder best. Chowder absolutely peak comedy, peak aesthetic. Everything is good about Chowder. Hi, money. The best scene shows regular show. <gasps> regular show. I love it. Oh. I wonder what I've watched regular show now. It was so, so, so good. Chowder is so good. It has such peak, peak humor. Clarence, never seen it. But I know the resist. Never seen this one either, the meatball thing, nope. Nope, I think these are the newer ones. Kids Next Door, great, loved it. I'm so sad that it actually got like cancelled or something. So they never actually finished it, like there was... I think there was no like uh, closing for the story. Courage, best, good. I loved it. It gave me like trauma as a kid, but I would say that it's very, very good. I think Clarence was like a newer generation Cartoon Network cartoon. Cow and Chicken! Oh my god, it was so good! I, I, I simply don't know how, how it could air. Like, Cow and Chicken was the Nickelodeon show of, of Cartoon Network. I don't even know how else I should describe it because you guys know that Nickelodeon had like the, the Ren and Stimpy kind of stuff and like Rocko's Modern Life and, and shit with like the very interesting adult jokes. That was Cow and Chicken on Cartoon Network. <laughs> the devil, oh my god. I loved it when he just rolled around. Uh, something something I, I don't know this the cram twins it was good I actually enjoyed this as a child I don't know why it was it was so weird but I actually enjoyed this uh, I don't know what this is Dexter great no no not as but great Dexter's laboratory legendary no uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get lynched for this one but I don't like this I'm sorry. It was so, it was not good. How to Train Your Dragon. The the whole series was just um, it was just made to profit off of the title, nothing else. No, How to Train Your Dragon was good, but not the series because they actually made like a series about it. It was not good because it felt like very very. How do I say this? They were pushing it for like profit. Dark Dodgers, oh my god, freaking love this show. The movie was good, the series was shit, exactly. The, I, I, I'm just, I'm just going to, I'm just going to have this its own tier. S S S S S S R, the the best show ever existed, the best show, the best cartoon ever existed is Ed and Neri. hands down. My childhood, the best freaking cartoon. I love it. I'm above 25, but I still go back to rewatch it. I love it so much. I rewatched it like 10 times, I think. Five times in, in like Hungarian, five times in, in English. I actually checked out the other languages as well. 
is just so freaking good the best cartoon ever existed honestly gosh i love this i, I could ramble about it so much ah <laughs> oh, the first time we had like the not dial of internet like the unlimited internet access i think that was actually the first thing that i did as as a like i was i was not a teenager still but like a bigger kid i think i i think it was like i was like 10 or something and the first thing i did i remember was just just oh my god i'm gonna watch all of the ed and Eddie episodes ever <laughs> No Beavis and Butthead in it. Was it on Cartoon Network? Was it an Adult Swim cartoon, I wonder? Or was it a Nickelodeon cartoon? I don't know, but I watched Beavis and Butthead. It was... No, it was MTV. It, it was MTV. It is my spirit animal. Yes. I would say that it probably shaped my personality in a way. It was, it was such a legendary cartoon for me. Like, it actually <laughs> shaped my personality in ways. Okay. Uh, Evil Konkan, I never saw this. I think I saw shorts from this, but never actually saw it. Foster's Home, very, very good. Loved it. Was so disappointed with the real jawbreakers were in three feet wet. Oh my god. The f so the place that I mentioned eating, uh, going to for like macarons and stuff, like the, the candy store in Budapest. That was the first time I actually saw Drawbreakers in real life and I was disappointed as well like Gosh, I can I could actually carry this in my hands <laughs> Cartoon Network had Garfield. Holy shit. I never heard about that before. I don't know what this is I don't know what this is either Green Lantern. No <gasps> Cream Adventures of Billy and Mandy best absolute best i love everything with like the very specific american humor i love it i rewatched billy and mandy i don't know how many times at this point binging old cartoon network series that is actually a lovely idea i love it a lot okay i need to adjust this a little bit more Okay, what's next? I don't I don't think I know what this is. Is that is that related to Grim Adventures? I don't know. No. Buffy Emmy Yumi best. Absolute best. <gasps> you guys remember I am Weasel? Best. Gosh, I am Weasel. I think that was even before Cow and Chicken. Holy shit. It actually, they actually had crossover episodes, I think. <gasps> yes, I am Weasel was so good. Oh my god. I don't know what this is. <gasps> Johnny Bravo, best. I love you, Johnny Bravo. Johnny Test, um, mediocre. These are the kind of stuff that I usually just left the TV running until the other better episodes of like other series came on. Hey, hot mama. <clears throat> Justice League. Oh, I think I actually kind of like Justice League, to be honest. Oh, this one, this one. What, what the, what's the difference? But yeah, I, I think I kind of like Justice League. Oh, there's more. No, not, not, not this modern one. Oh my god, I don't know what this is. <gasps> you guys cannot see what, what, oh, hold on. I need, to, I need to shrink this. Okay. I might, okay. Uh, you need to know that the, the top one is Ed, Ed, and Eddie because, yeah, I, I need to shrink this because there's a lot and my tier list is getting out of control a little bit. Alright. Do the monkey with me. Yes. Only part of Johnny Test I like was the hot sister Johnny had. <gasps> True. Oh my god. That's why I like redheads and Kim Possible. Redheads are. I don't know what this is. Juniper Lee was okay. 
I remember liking it. Uh, I don't, I don't know what this is. <gasps> I think they. Oh, these are the the older Looney Tunes. These are good. I remember this. Scroll down a little bit. We, we can do this, fellas. Hello, Meshter. Hello, hello. We can do this, fellas. There's a lot. Uh, I never watched this. Or cannot remember this either. <gasps> Flapjack. Flapjack is definitely the best. Flapjack was so good. Oh, okay. The birds decided to be very, very loud outside my window. Okay. Uh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is either. <gasps> oh, I remember this, but I don't know the title and I, I cannot read it. But I remember that this was not bad. I don't know what this is. The Moxie show. <gasps> oh gosh. Okay. I need to have this all in the in on the screen. Never saw Flapjack. <gasps> Nigel Flapjack is so good. Please watch it. I never watched this. <gasps> I remember this one, and I I actually liked it. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, this was the one with the monkey. I didn't like that. I hated Ninja Go because it was always on when I was waiting for something else. Uh, I never watched this. I know that it, it exists still. Over the garden wall. I, wa I wanted to watch this so many times, but I keep forgetting. Uh, nope. Okay, Powerpuff Girls was okay i'm so sorry whoever loved powerpuff girls it was the filler thing for me when i was waiting for something else i think this is the newer one that was that was okay for or like a reboot it was not bad because reboots are usually what the frick is this i don't know what this is oh, regular show s absolutely regular show chef kiss Uh, this this robot thingy, I I do not watch that. Nope. I hope everyone can see what I'm doing. <laughs> but 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 but. So the thing is, if something is at a bad time spot, like Cartoon Network did the stuff with like canceling stuff that they had planned out for example they ha they planned like a oh gosh i'm gonna get hated for this one too but i fucking hate scooby -Doo. i'm so sorry i hate everything scooby-doo i know i know this is even worse than powerpuff girls but i hate scooby-doo because cartoon network kept doing the thing but i was waiting for like i don't know like an edit and Eddie marathon and cartoon network changed this it's like a uh, schedule and kept playing Scooby-Doo for some reason from 6 a.m. till like 8 p.m. all day Scooby-Doo instead of my Ed, Ed and Eddie marathon I don't know why and I was so freaking salty they did this multiple times they always played Scooby-Doo as a filler for something when they were not ready or just they just canceled their own schedule or something I clearly remember this and I am so angry about this I fucking hate Scooby-Doo. I am so sorry. I saw, Scoob I saw it so many times because I actually sat through waiting for the other show to come on. They did the same with Powerpuff Girls marathons. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to every Scooby-Doo lover. I never saw the Samurai Jack like the last season, but it was very good. It's legendary. I recommend it to watch. Scooby-Doo. Bad. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. 
Sheep in the city was okay. It was cute. What is this? Oh my god. Is there a okay. I'm I'm going to choose whatever I like because there are way too many stuff in here that I that I don't know. Okay, Scooby Doo. Hate. Rage. Okay. Uh okay. Let's go from here. What what did I see? Uh, Steven Universe, it was very, very good. I think Steven Universe was a remarkable series. I would recommend it, but it had the ups and downs. Vaporeon, thank you very much for the follow. Oh, shut up, Nigel. This is my team on this. <laughs> the Intitans, very good. Uh, you know what I'm looking for? Total drama. But is there like a kid version? Total drama. Absolutely S tier. All of the series. Absolutely fucking good. I never knew that there's a kid's version out of that too. Totally spies S tier. Fucking amazing. V Bear Bears S tier. So good. My comfy series. Okay, what else do we have here? <laughs> the chat is here and I will tell you how wrong you are. Okay, stinky. Alright, stinky. Um, What else is there? Oh, is there like an extra to Steven Universe? I never knew that. There's an extra- Oh, the, the baby V Bear Bears. Yeah, the baby version that I probably won't ever watch. But yeah, I think, I think this is it. These are the ones that I never actually saw and never actually knew they existed. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm just looking at them. Okay. Here you go. We don't know. Listen, listen, listen. At some point, I switched to anime, right? And now I'm actually interested to check them out. I am kind of going to check them out. Because <laughs> at some point I switched to anime. And I only went back to watch like stuff like Adventure Time. And my 100 rewatch of Ed and Nettie. So I'm gonna sneeze. But yes, Nigel, you should definitely do the tier list live because you are very, very opinionated like me. Gesundheit. Arigatank. Okay. Wow, I saw a lot of series, didn't I? But then, like, I, I, I think it actually starts from like the D. You guys should actually care about it from like here like this this part these like these two rows shape me to who i am today basically <laughs> add an any marathon on your server <gasps> that sounds so good oh gosh <laughs> but we're gonna do it every single year <laughs> gonna do it every single year every single year i'm gonna drag you guys along to rewatch ed and eddie ed, ed and eddie on our server <laughs> okay thanksgiving food tier list okay so i know that i am hungarian i'm not i'm not from the u.s but but we actually have a lot of these foods in hungary as well so i'm gonna still do this tier list like in theory, if I would end up in the US on Thanksgiving, what would I like? <laughs> Those three shows are the same show. Ah, that's good to know. Thank you for the info. Alright. So, if Mafunya would end up in the US on Thanksgiving, Turkey. Maybe. I don't hate it, but I have heard that... Uh, 
the US turkey it tastes like rubber and it's like almost tasteless. Also, if I would have to choose my favorite meat, I would go along with chicken and fish. And from fish, I would probably go with tuna and salmon. But I also like all kind of like uh, shrimp, octopus, and stuff. Yeah, pumpkin pie, elite. Elite. Anything with pumpkin. Big ass. When Timkin and fish, yes. <laughs> Apple pie, I would only eat it if I don't have to. I will probably pass. But if you would serve it with like vanilla custard, I would consider it. Biscuit, elite. Love them. This is what I usually have. Or like breakfast. If I'm having breakfast on stream, it's usually biscuit. It's okay, Nigel. I will eat everything that you you are <laughs> passing on with the pumpkin. Turkey has not much of a flavor. It tastes the flavor of what you cook it with. See, that is the difference because Hungarian turkey actually has flavor. I don't know what you guys are doing with your turkeys in the U.S., but here in Hungary, turkey actually has a flavor, and I don't really like it. <laughs> currently munching on biscuit <gasps> good for you brussels sprouts ew 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 disgusting squash elite i think i, I said this already but anything with squash is like 100 percent i love it i love it um i love baking it in the oven we usually eat turkey meat in, in milk and flavorings for a few hours yeah it's much more difficult because on in the US you usually like cook the turkey as a whole and it would be so hard to actually like uh, leave it in like milk or something jellied cranberry I will try this I will try this green bean casserole lovely I love green beans I love anything that resembles a casserole I love it Cornbread? I, I don't know what this is. Is cornbread... Is it sweet or is it salty? Is it sweet or is it salty? Let me know. But I would probably try because everything with corn is good. Actual corn. Elite. Cranberry sauce. Okay. Cream corn. Elite. Anything with corn. Oh my god, I would probably be like the best guest to have over at Thanksgiving because I would probably get seconds from everything. Dinner rolls. By itself, I wouldn't wouldn't be able to imagine myself eating these. Probably along with the cream corn. Gravy, okay. Ham, okay. Mac and cheese, great. I never actually had the US style mac and cheese, but we do have something similar here. I'm not from the USA, but they force feed their turkey with hormones and corn. Oh, we do that in Hungary too. It's okay. Who creates a shalata like your... Yes. Anything, anything with corn is just... Mwah, lovely. Mashed potatoes, great. Especially with the gravy. Red wine, elite. <laughs> Roasted veggies, elite. Love them. What potatoes? I don't know, but but they are okay. Sparkling juice? Uh, no. No. It, 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 Brussels sprouts deserve its own room. Stuffing? If it's anything that we put in our, our meat for stuffing, then it's great. Sweet potato casserole? Maybe... I'm not a big fan of sweet potato. I eat it, but it's way too sweet for me. I tried US style mac and cheese and it, it's horrible. Really? That's really interesting. Yeah, this is my Thanksgiving tier list. If I ever end up in, in the US on Thanksgiving, invite me. I <laughs> believe you're all your leftovers. Okay. 
And it's just a cheddar cheese is so hard to find here. Like, not hard to find, but like, it's very expensive. Even if it's on sale, it's gonna be so expensive. But yeah, from this piece, I would probably have um, the roasted veggies. That is the most common thing. We actually have a lot of roast veggie dishes here. I love it a lot. It's expensive, but it's good, yes. Anything that resemble, resembles a casserole, I love it. Anything with green beans, and pumpkins, and corn, it's, it's just good. Maybe I might be a new US person in spirit. <laughs> okay, okay, the next one. Hungarians, be ready. The Hungarian food tier list. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, this this is gonna be very very epic usa cheese is not cheese it's okay we do have a cheese that it's like barely cheese too all right i'm gonna make it so that it shows hold on just a second And now I want goulash. I think my mom was having goulash some days ago. Okay. So this 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 little shit here is very very spicy. It's a kind of pepper. We call it apple pepper because it's like round, right? It's paprika. But it's pickled and it's extra spicy. It's extremely spicy if, if prepared well. So it goes in the S tier, obviously. Because it's pickled and it's spicy, so I love it. We usually have it along with meat dishes and stews. Goulash. Goulash. Um, so if you're not Hungarian, you usually say goulash, right? We say goulash in Hungarian. Um, it's very, very famous. I think everyone and their mom at some point tried at least fake goulash because I know that there are some abominations in, in like Mexico and the US. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. There are some abominations to like replicate goulash a little bit. I'm not really a big fan. I am sorry, it's too strong in flavor for me. Unless I would add some sour cream or something to it, but it's a little bit too strong for me. Vaguely. This is a kind of pastry which has either poppy seeds or um, Walnuts in it. I'm not really a big fan either, but it's not too bad, especially when you have like something, for example, pudding with it. <laughs> Hold on, what's this? What is that? Oh, it, it's, it's the kind of fat, fatty bacon. Okay. Salona? Nope. Too fatty, too salty, not for me. Cinnamon. This one. Is that console on that up to me? Katona, de ettem. Nagyon sós. Nagyon sós. Very, very salty. I don't like it. It's not the kind of bacon that you would buy in like the US, for example, because it's literally made from like a lard of an animal. The very, very lardy part. Ostisem es seke kaposta. I actually have to zoom in. Yeah, this is like the, the cabbage stew. I would say that this is very good. I like it a lot. And this is the regular, regular chicken stew, which is also... I would say that it's S tier, actually. Thank you for the follow, Kaga the Shadow. Hi. We are ranking Hungarian foods right now. Even if you're not Hungarian, join in. And listen to our dank opinions about Hungarian food. Still go hard, though. Yes. Who has just stew? Get, like, stew soup or something. Uh, 
Dobos cake, dobos torta. Nope, I don't like it. But even as an F tier, I would probably eat it if I would have. If, even if I want to be polite, I would probably be able to eat it, but I don't like it. I'm sorry. Uh, what the heck is that? What is that? Uh, what is that? I don't know. I would say that this is fried chicken. It's okay. Oh, what's what? What is this called again? Um, this no shite. Oh, pig. It, it's called pig cheese. Now I know what you're thinking. It's not related to cheese at all. <laughs> it's not related to cheese at all. It's just that it's like it's a pig chopped up and like some kind of jello thing. It looks disgusting, but I really, really like it because it's very spicy. It's just pig meat. Yeah, but you need to remember that it also contains like the the trotters and like the pig feet and the ears and stuff, which might be hard to consume. Ah, <gasps> donuts. Uh, I mean, these are like donuts. They are just not donut shaped. They are just buns. I guess they are okay, but they are fried, so I'm not really a big fan. I would probably just put it in. Thank you for the follow. Um, this is also fried, so I would say that's C tier. Nice to meet you too. Thank you very much for the follow. Come join us in the Hungarian food tier list. Thank you so much for the follow. When is live? Thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> you don't like cake? I do love cake. It's just that sometimes whatever you need to fry in like oils, I'm not really a big fan of it. So these are not really cakes. These are baked in the oven. These are fried in oil. So I'm not really a big fan of those. This is um, chestnut puree. Esther. Great. Imagine just um, mashed up chestnuts and then like whipped cream on top. It's so good. It's so sweet. Love having it on Christmas and in winter in general. Uh, Gyerekek, ez bobleves. That's S tier. This is bean soup. I just realized that this is Hungarian bean soup. And this is the goulash. Yes, this is the goulash. This is bean soup. <laughs> no chestnut puree for you okay this is fruit soup s tier unless it's made by my poor mom because then she will probably use the the cherries that we picked in the garden and they there will be like worms floating in <laughs> the fruit soup and it's so gross Ooh, whoever missed my uh fruit tier list knows that I do like cherries and sour cherries, but I have PTSD with the burns inside. <laughs> I met another Samsonite worker from Budapest. It's not me, I promise. I worked at Samsonite like more than five years ago. Okay. <gasps> Fisherman soup. Nope. This 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 gets its own row never never ever ever if i smell fisherman soup a halászléknek a szagát érzem hányom i throw up if i <laughs> if i ever if it's just the scent of the fisherman soup it's so fishy but in the worst kind of way i'm gonna throw up i cannot bear to actually be in the same room as fisherman soup <laughs> no Oh yeah, Samson and is really good quality. Um, blood sausage, A. Very, very good. I know it sounds very bad, but imagine like a sausage that you need to bake in the oven because some parts are actually raw in it. They are made from a uh, pig. And it, so the pig meat and the ground up like um, 
internal organs going to the, the pig's like intestines and it also contains blood and then you actually bake it in the oven i am so sorry to whoever is like sensitive to these kind of stuff i'm sorry this is how we do it in hungary <laughs> it's really good i love it fisherman soup is uh imagine like taking a fish boiling all of the parts of it and then actually taking it apart with like all of the intestines and internal organs and then just making a stew out of it like a stew soup out of it don't expect you just turn them off i don't know at this point i just assume that some some of my followers are actually asian like southeast asian people uh use all of the parts of the animals too so I would just assume that they are familiar with this kind of stuff. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh my god. I'm sorry. But yeah, links are not allowed. Be careful. Uh, I'm gonna give you permission. Uh, No, it's okay, it's okay. There you go. Now you have permission to post things. No, it's okay. Yeah, that's fisherman soup. It's not too bad. On, like, in a written way, but the taste is, like, very, very peculiar. Also, I need to figure out what the next thing is. <gasps> Kochonya. Okay, the pig jelly. The pig jelly. Okay. <laughs> that, now, this is the one. That can actually turn a lot of people off. Gochonya. S tier. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I love it. I love it. I know that it's weird. Like, imagine taking the head without the brain and like the eyes, but like the head of a pig and the ears and the mouth and the feet, and then just making jello out of it. I know it sounds weird, but. I actually learned that people in the Philippines actually have something similar as well. So I don't feel too freaky about it. Liking it. But yeah, it's it's probably gross. I'm sorry, it's just how we have it. <laughs> Chicken kochonya, I never tried that. I never tried that before. But yeah, it's called kochonya in Hungarian, it's big jelly. I don't know how to say it in a in a more gentle way. It's just how it is. Purka. It's it's the same as the blood sausages. It's the same kind of sausage. You bake it in the oven. People usually bake the two together because they are produced at the same time when a, when there's like a when people slaughter pigs, they usually make these two together. Okay, what's what's the next one? Cabbage stuff. Okay, cabbage noodles. How do you guys eat your cabbage noodles and the cabbages? How do you a cabbage noodles? Salty or sweet? I usually like to have it like somewhere along the line of two. So it's kind of sweet and salty too. I would say that it's B. It's not too bad. It's not my favorite, but I like it. Hello. Hi, Blaze. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay i understand not many people like it because at the end of the day it's just cabbage and noodles but also you can add like salt pepper and all kind of spices to it to spice it up a little bit some people actually eat it with, with sugar i don't know you are freaks <laughs> i like it sweet with sugar it's okay my dad eats that too it's, it's that way too why would you eat your tomato soup? S sweet. Oh my god. People. <gasps> Kurtish kalach. Funnel cake. Okay. Okay. This is S tier. Wherever you go, and if it has like a Hungarian food stand, you will find the funnel cake there. Or not even funnel cake, but... um, Is, is it the funnel cake? Hold on. I think it's, it's called funnel cake. No, not funnel cake. I'm stupid. What's it called? Uh... What, what, what is it called? What is it called? Thank you, 
very much for the follow hello hello i am scottish i sorry most people won't touch oh it's okay i'm the same what's kurdish collage uh chimney cake <gasps> chimney cake yes it's a chimney cake I don't know why I had this brain fart moment. I am so sorry. But yes, chimney cake. If you guys have a Hungarian food stand somewhere, anywhere, outside of Hungary, because I know that there's like a chimney cake uh, stand even in Japan, try it. It's so good. Like the dough is just so friggin' soft, but the outside is a little bit crunchy and there are like various coatings. Like my favorite is cinnamon and. Uh, Shredded coconut, yes. Kurtish collage, yes. What's this? What's the next one? What's this? I don't know what this is. It looks like noodles. It's okay. <gasps> Langosh. Langosh S tier. Even if it's fried, even if it's like fried in oil, it's S tier. I don't know how to describe langosh. Flatbread, yes, it's a flatbread. So imagine a flatbread, and my favorite way to eat it is like put sour cream and shredded cheese on it with a little bit of garlic sauce. It's so good. It's it's so specific to Hungary. Like you will have langos stands every single town that you go to. Like there's at least one, even in the small towns. It's so sp it's so specific to Hungary. Usually see those with cream filling here. I actually saw like filled langosh too. Like fle filled flat. I cannot. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> I'm not even drunk. Holy heck. Hello, Benta. Hello, hello. I am ranking Hungarian food. <gasps> Mezes cremes. Good. Very good. This is a kind of like pastry. Uh, it has chocolate, cream filling, and jam in it. It's very, very specific to Hungary. It's very good. It's very soft. And very easy to consume. People tend to make it too sweet, though. My mom's cream is just very, very sweet. Uh, <gasps> noodly. Asti is noodly. Yes. Holy shit. Noodly. Leg yolk. So this is called noodly which has the same consistency of the flat bread but it's not fried but instead it's boiled in water and you usually put like uh any of these what the heck is grief Grits. Okay, it says grits. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you usually can put whatever you like on it. Even chocolate sauce. I'm the kind of head who actually puts chocolate sauce on their noodle. Or jam. I don't know. Nem panir, hanem grease. Ja, hogy a noodle grease beforgatod. Because I'm on the bus and listening only salmon. Ah, take care. Noodle with strawberry jam. Yes, absolutely, one hundred percent. Hungarians know how to eat sweets. Honestly, it's just that it involves either frying or it involves making it super duper sweet. Okay, next one. Potzal, the 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 cow's stomach. I don't even know. What other nationality has the prepares a cow's stomach? I think Vietnamese, perhaps. But we do eat it too. If we prepare it like a stew, instead of meat, there's like the the beef stomach. S tier. I'm sorry. I know that I eat a lot of freaky food, 
but you need to love me like this I know that I eat a lot of freaky food but I do love butter I'm so sorry I usually like it with um, noodles or rice instead of baked potatoes this is it's some kind of potato and meat dish well it's probably good <laughs> it's okay it's probably good biscuits a very good we love to eat this in every every occasion like all all, the, all around the day for, for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, we're gonna have biscuits. Paprika is krupli. Ah, akkor is de. But yeah, it's it it this this one is a kind of like a paprika and potato stew. It's it's just one stew from like the 500 that we have. I think this is actually chicken paprika, which is which is good. Stop the stomach with heart, liver, and kidney, then boil it. Good stuff. We have something very similar here. It's just that we're not filling it in the stomach. Instead, we fill it in the intestines. What's this? What is this? Once again, what is this? I don't know. I don't know what this is. I actually have no idea. Pita. Okay. Again, don't see it. It's okay. I cannot determine either. Okay. Pie. Hungarian pie. Once again. Very, very good. I would say that it's it's B. No, hold on. No, that's not pie. That okay, as a rocket crumpli. <laughs> okay. Pass along. This is um the casserole. Potato casserole. It's very, very good. Kyoko de Otaku, thank you very much for the follow. This this is the this is the potato casserole, which is also very very good. It's usually very cheesy. Welcome back. Hello, hello, welcome back. Fried chimkin or just fried meat in general, very very good. We prepare it in a very specific way. It's very very flat but very yummy. Retash, retash S. S tier. Retash is S tier. It's a kind of pastry with like various fillings. It can have cottage cheese. Um, it can have cherries, sour cherries, apples, any kind of filling. Basically very, very similar to pie, but it's not, not pie. Shomloi <laughs> galushka. S tier. I don't know how to explain this. I'm gonna just link the Wikipedia page for it. You guys have to try this at some point. Come on. Where's the English? Hungarian trifle. Okay, I'm gonna just link this page. Okay, check it out. It's very, very good. Bacon. It's just bacon. Okay. Then it's D. It's just Hungarian bacon. <gasps> oh, Silvash Um, um, A. This is like, um... I don't know how to explain in English. I'm gonna try though. Plum dumplings, yes, dumplings. Uh, imagine like Chinese dumplings, but the dough is not that thick, and it's usually filled with like jam, either jam or actual fruit, like plum. And it actually has like a very sugary coating. Very, very good, very good. 
I'm actually going to link this one as well. I'm really hungry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Nigel. I made you hungry. Oh my god, more more bacon. No de ez a szabárolt szalonna, ami viszont nagyon-nagyon finom. Fogalmam sincs, hogyan mondjam el ezt angolul, de nagyon finom az abárolt szalonna. It's a kind of special bacon. It involves paprika and bacon. I don't know how to explain it, but it's prepared with like lots of paprika added to it. It's very, very good. I actually have no idea what this is, so it goes in this tier. Um, stuffed paprika. I am not a big fan. It's not too bad. It's too sweet for my liking. Stuffed paprika. It, it usually has like meatballs in it. It's a little bit... Tom it's prepared with tomato sauce instead of paprika sauce but it's like so stuffed paprika with like tomato sauce but it's still a little bit stewy hungry hungarian <laughs> all right um oh this is stuffed meat this is 100 stuffed meat it's very very similar to what the people in the u.s have but we usually stuff uh chicken for this one or so i think at least my family usually stuffs chicken for this one. Stuffed cabbage rolls, S tier, forever the best, with lots and lots of sour cream. My family usually has stuffed cabbage rolls on Christmas. Hello, Chungus. Hello, hello. Okay. Oh, um, this this thing, this thing. So it's basically the skin of like, I think duck, duck or, or chicken, the, the skin like peeled off and then they actually make uh, like a teperto out of it. They, they just fry it in oil. Pig, yes, okay, pig, pig skin, yes. Um, not a big fan. It's just, it's just too fat for me. Duro gombots. Um, cottage cheese dumplings, but I don't think it actually involves a lot of cottage cheese. Um, I remember when I was a kid, I had a hard time actually having like more than one of these. They are sweet. They are cottage cheese rolls. No rat rolls, but dumplings. But they don't have any filling. They are sweet though. Duro rudi, S tier. Basically a cottage cheese roll. Yeah, I was I was thinking about ahead of myself. Cottage cheese roll in chocolate filling. It's very very unique to Hungary. When I met Frankie, I actually bought like a, a package of like five for her and her sister because it's so unique to Hungary. It, it can actually have a filling. It can have like a nut filling or um, like uh, chocolate jam endless possibilities crackle I don't, I don't even know what that is well the next one is noodles with um, cottage cheese and bacon so people people can actually eat this sweet and salty too because if you eat it sweet it's just noodles the cottage cheese and sugar but if you like it salty, you can have the cottage cheese and the bacon on top. And then it's salty. It's very good, but... Now, actually, this is C because I, I can eat a lot of these, this because it's very, very hard. hard it's very, very um, filling. So I get full very, very fast because of this. Oh gosh, I have no idea what this is. I think this is the pottage. I'm not sure which one. Uh, I, I I think I'm gonna put this in B because I love all kind of pottage. The pea pottage, borsofezelik, nagyon nagyon finom, very very good. Anything that like the pea, it's it's almost like okay, this is gonna sound weird, but pea sauce. It's not sauce, but it's like a pottage, but made out of peas, and we usually have some kind of fried meat with it. Gerbo. Ah, oh, Gerbo is very, very famous. It's a very famous Hungarian dessert. 
Um, so it's like layered. The pastry is layered with um, like uh, jam, apricot jam. No, apricot marmalade. Yeah, marmalade in instead of it's marmalade, I think. So with apricot and wal walnut. Yeah, walnut. Apricot, walnut, and then on top there's a chocolate layer. It's very, very famous. We actually have a very famous like, restaurant named after this. And this is once again some kind of stew, which I don't know what it is. <laughs> but yeah, here, here's my Hungarian ranking. Okay, I can I can probably show this. Yes. I don't know what to say because Hungarian foods are like so specific and I don't think anyone outside of Hungary will understand these <laughs> I think the thing that you can probably tell from me that I'm, I'm not really a picky eater I think the only thing that I wouldn't eat genuinely is just a fisherman soup I'm gonna sneeze Hey. Ah. Oh, the sneezing. Fashir is uh, meatloaf. I would say that fashir is best translated into meatloaf. Thank you. What does I say? Hungarian. Does it have enough grease? No. Then I add more. <laughs> yeah. We just use a lot of paprika and lots of lots of fat, lots of lard. <laughs> Add to your list. Oh gosh, better than this. <laughs> yeah, people usually complain that our food is very fat. Okay, the last one is the ice cream flavor to your list. The one and only. Okay, first of all, disclaimer. There's no such thing as bad ice cream. I would probably eat any of these. Everyone can hear my sneeze in the warehouse. That's good because you, people cannot get, get get to lose you. Also, I do anya. Meow. Van rossz vagyok. Nincs rossz vagyok. Olyan nem létezik. Nem. Nekem egyáltalán nem. Én mindet nagyon szeretem. I love every single kind of ice cream. Ice cream is my favorite dessert of all time. There is no such thing as bad ice cream. I'm gonna eat them. Okay. <laughs> okay. The next disclaimer. I think this is a uh, Baskin Robbins list because that's very very popular in the in uh, the U.S. This this looks like a Baskin Robbins list, and I might not know what the flavors are so us peeps please help me out okay vanilla a tier very very good just the basics you cannot go wrong with vanilla a rocky road i think this is some kind of chocolate chip and the fact that it's not 100 percent chocolate is is good Peanut butter, S. Anything with peanut butter is S. Very, very good. Ice cream tier list with everything in S, S tier. I know, I am trying so hard. I'm trying so hard. I'm gonna actually make some very, very hard decisions here. Bechi cabbage for you. You. Pistachio, A. Very, very, very good. Birthday cake, um... I'm not really a fan of birthday cake because it sounds like a very basic like cream or vanilla flavor cake in the US. Cheesecake, definitely S tier. I love every kind of cheesecake. A lot. But my favorite has to be strawberry cheesecake. Strawberry yogurt cheesecake, to be exact. Eggnog. Um, I would probably still eat this. I'm not a big fan of eggnog, but if there's no nothing else, I would probably eat this. Let's see. Cherry. Cherry is good. In ice cream, I would probably eat cherry. Because 
It definitely has no worms in it. <laughs> peppermint ice cream. I don't think I actually had peppermint ice cream. I am interested in it. I would probably try out of curiosity. I know that peppermint flavored stuff is very common in the US. Hungarians need nicotine flavored ice cream. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That, that sounds very chaotic. Please no. Bubblegum. Bubblegum tends to be very, very sweet, so I don't usually go for bubblegum. As a kid, I was obsessed with anything that was blue, so perhaps 10-year-old Mofa would, would, would be insane for this one. Also, side note for the Hungarians. Do you guys know that some, uh, some like, uh, ice cream stands usually have, like, Smurf ice cream? That was my favorite. I have a very fond memory with my grandma taking to an ice cream parlor and they always had the, the blue ice cream and it was called the Smurf ice cream. It was some kind of vanilla flavor, but it was so good. Bacon ice cream, no. <laughs> although, although, I would probably try it. Birthday cake is basically fondant and cream. So basically it's just very, very sweet. Like milky flavor. Oh, picky. Yes. Yes. The Smurf ice cream. Rum raisin sounds great. It has raisin in it. Rum is good too. Rum raisin is good. Mint chip S tier. 100%. Mint chip is good. Brownie batter. It sounds too chocolatey for me. I would probably not go for it, but if I'm in a certain like chocolatey mood, I would probably try it. Lemon custard sounds really good. I'm not a big fan of lemon flavor, as in like the artificial lemon flavor, but it's not bad. Peach, definitely A tier. Anything with peach is good. Coffee, um, I like coffee, but not that much as ice cream, but if it's like combined with something, like for example, a more creamy coffee or just caramel and coffee, that might be, that might work out. Yes, coffee ice cream. We actually have like uh, an ice cream parlor where I live, my family home, which always has coffee ice cream, but it usually combines it with caramel. It's not bad. All right. Dreamsicle. What is this? Help me out with this one. Uh, mango, definitely S tier. Moose tracks. Nepo Napolitan, really good. What are moose tracks and what's Grimsicle? Can someone help me out with this one? Also, what's Blue Moon? <laughs> this this looks great. I would probably eat this. I, my lizard brain would go. <gasps> this looks like a lush bath bomb. I would probably try this one. Cotton candy, good. Chocolate, mm, just regular chocolate is a little bit boring for. Black raspberry sounds great. I would probably eat a coconut. Definitely S tier. Beer. I don't know. I, I am interested. I would probably try it. It would taste like oranges. Yeah, I would probably um, expect it to taste something citrusy. Moose tracks. It reminds me of Oreo. Blue Moon reminds me of mint something. Raspberry Ripple. Sounds good. Raspberry can only be good. Cookies and Cream. S tier. Chocolate Chip. S tier. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Strawberry is a little bit boring by itself, but you cannot go wrong with strawberry either. Chocolate Chip Cookie though. This sounds very, very American. I never had this. Butter Pecan. Pecan is not common in Hungary, so I, I don't know how it tastes like. Bubblegum mixed with banana. That that sounds interesting. That actually sounds interesting. I would try this. Grape? Oh, I can imagine this working out. Yeah, yeah. If it's Japan, I would probably try it. Who is this peanut butter cup? I actually had the peanut butter cup, so this this might taste really, really, really good. A 
Okay, so I'm gonna assume that the trimsicle is is something citrusy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put it here because I would probably not need it. Moose tracks look really good. I think this involves something good like hazelnut. So here, so here's my ice cream tier list. I wanna visit Japan. Yeah, I wanna go to Japan too. I love cookies and cream too. Just, just anything with cookies is really, really good. Okay. Dreamsicle is cream soda. <gasps> Never mind. I'm definitely trying this. If I ever get to try it, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> okay. This was my last tier list. And we actually reached two hours too. <laughs> what, do, what do you think about my taste and stuff? In cartoons, wedgies, fruits. I hope it's not too bad. But even if it's bad, I don't care. You have to love me like this. You signed up for this when you followed me. <laughs> I would say that I am aware that sometimes my tastes are very unique. But there's that. You know Reese's Pieces? Uh, I think I only had... Uh, the what's it called? The peanut butter. Um, what's it called? The buttercup. Yes, I only had the peanut butter cups and Hershey kisses from like the very very unique U.S. flavor stuff. Peanut butter cups. That's moose tracks. Oh, hehe, <gasps> hehe. <laughs> Love those. Love those. Hi, Technoblade Legend. Hello. Welcome, welcome. I have rated stuff today, but I am slowly wrapping up. I am so sorry. Thank you very much for the follow. I'm so sorry you arrived to the end, but I hope to see you soon. I will try to stream tomorrow. I don't, I don't know about the net. It's very sus. Definitely sus. I had one little hiccup. But yeah, I will try to stream tomorrow too. I would love to finish box snacks. Guys, we need to finish box snacks. I know that I've been avoiding it for so long, but I need to finish box snacks. We need to see the end of this, okay? So we, we're gonna finish box snacks tomorrow. Hopefully it won't be an early stream. No, it's probably going to be around the same time today. Next week is my last week at work. Oh, thank you for the stretch. Also, good luck at work. I have a lot of work this time too. So I will be working and streaming too. I need to remember to actually stand up from my computer because I've, I've, I'll be drawing and then streaming. I don't know, um... What day is it tomorrow? Oh, okay, it's Monday tomorrow. All right. Uh, I have collabs again next week, and we're gonna make up for the the sponsor stream because I'm actually super interested in ending. But yeah, box next tomorrow. That's for sure. Same time as today. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can raid some. Mango is playing Stray. Oh, yes. We're gonna raid Mango, okay? Let's raid Mango. She's playing Stray today. Here's a raid message, and I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Be nice to Mango. I love Mango a lot. I will see you guys. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for all the follows. Okay. I will see you. Bye, boy.